So in this short video, we're gonna go over how specifically to read the Philadelphia rod. Now, in other videos, I've mentioned that uh, when you look at the Philadelphia rod through the scope, you see these very thick black shapes that are essentially tick marks, and uh, they're, they're different shapes. So here I've already drawn uh, several examples of those shapes. One of the shapes you see is this kind of elongated, uh, looks almost like a trapezoid, but it's got this extra little stem attached to it, okay? So that is one very common shape you'll see. Now, if you notice on the Philadelphia rod, you're always gonna see this very odd looking shape associated with the big red numbers, okay? And remember, the big red numbers indicate whole numbers in feet, okay? So you're always gonna see one of these weird, weird kind of trapezoidal uh, shapes um, affiliated with a whole number that is in feet and that's a red number. Now, right above that, you're gonna have two black rectangles, okay? So you wanna draw this in your notes, by the way. You're gonna, so maybe pause the video and draw what you see here, but you're gonna have these two black rectangles right above that, okay? And then above those two black rectangles, you're gonna have a trapezoid. And this trapezoid is gonna have a tip that is at the bottom, okay? And then right above that trapezoid, you have another rectangle that is the same shape as the bottom two rectangles. And then above this rectangle, you have another trapezoid that uh, the tip of this trapezoid is along the top surface. So these are the shapes, and, and these shapes repeat themselves over and over again. This pattern repeats itself uh, up, up and down the Philadelphia rod. So let's talk about how we read these. We've mentioned in other videos that we can read um, actually to a hundredths place of a foot, okay? So let's see what we mean by that. So this, uh, this big red two right here is going to be associated with the top surface of this weird kind of weird elongated trapezoid. And that is gonna be designated 2.00, okay? Two decimal places. Now, let's move up, okay? I mentioned in another video that uh, the bottom and top surfaces of each of these tick marks represent a different measurement. So let me explain to you what we mean by that. The bottom surface of the first black rectangle, so right here, if you, if you are right along that bottom right there, that is equal to 2.01 feet, okay? 2.01 feet. Now, the measurement at the top surface of that first black rectangle is equal to 2.01 zero two feet, 2.02 feet. So basically what you're looking at is each of these black tick marks, the bottom surface represents an odd hundredths place and the top surface represents an even hundredths place. So I'm gonna make a note here, the bottom surface of each tick mark represents an odd hundredths place and the top surface represents an even hundredths place. Okay, so let's move on up. What is, what is this right here? Think to yourself, what, what is that point right there? That is 2.03. 2.03. Now, how do I know it's 2.03? Well, again, we are referring back down to the overall dimension, which is two feet uh, that I just happen to draw here, okay? Moving on up, this is 2.04 feet, 
okay, at the top surface. Now, here's what's cool about the first trapezoid that we have seen here that we encounter. This trapezoidal shape with the tip at the bottom, the reason why it's shaped a little bit differently is to make it easier for you to see what these measurements are. So check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up the first trapezoid and make it look a little bit bigger, okay? So when you see the trapezoidal shape that is uh, got the tip at the bottom, the bottom surface of this represents represents a 0 0.05 foot place, okay? So that's kind of like a halfway mark when it comes to hundredths, okay? And the reason why it's shaped a little bit differently, the reason why it's not just a regular rectangle is so you can spot that more easily when you're looking through the scope, okay? So that's the 0 0.05 foot place. Moving on up, uh, the top surface of this is of course the 0 0.06 foot place. All right, so back to our uh, figure here, this point right here is 2.05 feet, and then this point right here is 2.06 feet. Keep moving on up, this is 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, and then the top tip of, of the next um, trapezoid is a hundredths place increment, so 2.10. So that brings me to my next, um, you know, trapezoidal shape. I'm gonna blow that up a little bit for us to see a little bit better. So this, this top point right here, when you have the trapezoid with the tip at the top surface, this represents a 0 0.10 foot place, decimal place, okay? So again, these just repeat over and over again um, along, up, going up and down. I just picked, you know, two feet as, as an illustration. I could have just as easily said one foot, seven feet, whatever. So here's a question I got for you. Here's a question I got for you, and think about it. If if this top little surface of this weird elongated trapezoid is 2.00 feet, what is this down here? What is this surface down here? What do you think it is? Think about it and you can pause the video because I'm about to try to, I'm about to tell you the answer. So this down here, this bottom surface represents 1.99 feet. Okay, so um, Keep that in mind. I'm going to uh, give you a homework assignment where I'm going to ask you to um, tell me what some different readings are on a Philadelphia rod. So you need to know how to read this. This is also a very fair game on the final exam. This could be a very easy softball question on the final exam if you uh, study this and you remember how to read this.